Thou shalt therefore keep the commandments and the statutes and the judgments which I command thee this day to do them. Wherefore it shall come to pass, if he hearken to these judgments, and keep and do them, that the Lord thy God shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which he sware unto thy fathers. Many years ago, the Most High exiled his people out of the promised land. Yah scattered his people all over the world. The Israelites spend majority of their existence in captivity. The sole reason for their oppression, sin. Sin is transgressing the laws of the Most High. The kingdom of darkness used the synagogue of Satan to abolish the laws of the Most High. Replace the supreme laws of Yah with laws created by men. The beast system have a worldwide organization that indoctrinate the people to dismiss the laws of the Most High. This organization repeatedly teach that the laws of Yah are done away with. This unique division in the beast system is known as religion. Israelites in the beast system enjoy passing along to the so-called God-fearing people that the laws of the Most High are done away with. The Most High said, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love the Most High, why do you find pleasure in breaking his laws? In addition, participate in transferring false doctrines that suppress the laws of the Most High. The commandments are a part of the laws of Yah. This well-known organization in the beast system, religion, is promoting lawlessness. The so-called God-fearing sheep actually believe the laws of the Most High are fulfilled. I did not know that laws could be fulfilled. Does this indicate someday the laws of men will be fulfilled? I know prophecies could be fulfilled. Laws do not expire. Most governments use addendums to improve their laws. They do not abolish their laws. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. The scriptures inform us that Yeshua did not come to abolish the laws, but to fulfill the prophecies that was written about him. Altering the scriptures is how Satan managed to convince the sheep that the laws are fulfilled. If you allow the Holy Spirit to guide you in studying the scriptures, you will discover the precepts to Matthew 5 and 17. Yeshua explained he came to fulfill what was prophesied about him. Never did Yeshua said the laws of Yah are done away with. The kingdom of darkness used the synagogue of Satan to alter Matthew 5 and 17. You will find the precept in Luke 24 and 44. Israelites, we must praise the Most High for his absolute wisdom. In addition, for giving us his Holy Spirit to reveal truth to us and tell us the things to come. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. The awakening has its purpose. That purpose is to deliver the people of the Most High out of bondage and oppression. The purpose of religion is to keep the people in sin and to maintain oppression. Israelites and strangers, if the Most High abolishes laws, the Most High cannot justify his wrath. Transgressing the laws of Yah provoke him to anger. If the laws are fulfilled, there is no need to save the world. No crimes have been committed since the supreme laws of the Most High are fulfilled. Israelites, why would the Most High, who have high standards, create laws to govern his people, then turn around and say to his creation that you no longer have to abide in my laws? Are the laws of men done away with? Did the governments in the nations you dwell in abolish their laws? What would happen if the governments of the nations you dwell in decide to abolish their laws? Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. Division, chaos, and people destroying the earth are the result of lawlessness. The governments to the nations are not going to abolish their laws. Their laws are in place to control the people. Look at the climate we are living in right now. 
the government determines how we the people should live our lives. Where there is no law, the people are wicked. If you take time to examine Satan's religion system, you will discover how disobedient religion is towards the Most High. The Most High warned our ancestors before taking possession of the promised land to remember him and to obey his laws. If they do not obey, there would be severe consequences for their disobedience. Take heed unto yourselves, lest ye forget the covenant of the Lord your God, which he made with you, and make you a graven image, or the likeness of any thing, which the Lord thy God hath forbidden thee. I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day, that ye shall soon utterly perish from off the land whereunto ye go over Jordan to possess it. Ye shall not prolong your days upon it, but shall utterly be destroyed. Israelites, the penalty for breaking the laws of the Most High have not changed since the times of our ancestors. The consequences of breaking the laws of Yah remains the same, for the wages of sin is death. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Israelites, there is spiritual death and a physical death. A spiritual death is when you have no relationship with the Most High. Unfortunately, many Israelites do not have a relationship with Yah. Majority of Israelites have a relationship with idols that pretend to be the Most High. That is the reason to why many Israelites live in oppression. The sin of idolatry the Most High hates. The first commandment said there should be no other gods before me. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. A physical death is when your spirit separate from your flesh or your body. The scriptures inform us that it is appointed for everyone to die once after judgment. The timing to your physical death is set by the Most High. Israelites, iniquity can accelerate your physical death. When a person is lost in iniquity, the consequences of sin must take place. The scriptures said the wages of sin is death. Israelites, no shortcuts are permissible with dealing with the laws of the Most High. The religious establishments have made the Most High appear to be a passive entity that will accept lawlessness. The Most High will not participate in sin, nor will he dismiss the penalty to sin. The Most High will give his people the opportunity to repent, but if one refuse, a physical death will happen before the appointed time. Do not be quick to label a person innocent when a physical death occur. All have sinned and fallen short of his glory. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It is important for you to examine yourself daily and repent of known and unknown sins. Allow the Most High to do the necessary work that must be done in your life. All of us want to spend eternity with the Most High. If you follow the doctrines from religion to serve the Most High, the lake of fire will be your resting place. Do not allow Satan to use religion and sin to lead you on the broad road to destruction. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Too many Israelites want to plead their innocency when they are dealing with oppression. Depending on how you live would determine the root for your oppression. Israelites, oppression stems from the kingdom of darkness. The Most High used that oppression to discipline, judge, and elevate you. The kingdom of darkness used oppression to keep you in bondage. Remember, Israelites, the events that takes place in your life would help you determine if the Most High is using oppression for discipline and judgment. In order for Satan to oppress your life, he needs permission. Without permission, Satan cannot control you. Israelites, when the Most High allows Satan to oppress you, he is granting permission. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. The Most High has multiple reasons to allow the kingdom of darkness to oppress you. 
Besides the most high allowing Satan to come against you, the kingdom of darkness will use many other deceptions to deceive people into giving permission. The number one strategy Satan used against all people, a lack of knowledge. The scripture said, my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. From a lack of knowledge, the heathens claim our history for themselves. From a lack of knowledge, Israelites who are unaware of their rich history trade their glory for the lesser. If Israelites understood how the kingdom of darkness operate, they would not allow Satan, his angels, and the workers of iniquity deceive them. When you are full of wisdom and understanding, you can command the enemy to flee before you seven ways. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. When I did not know how the spirit realm operate, the kingdom of darkness was successful in forging covenants with me. Satan was oppressing my life. I was living in bondage. Now that my knowledge has increased on how the spirit realm operates, the kingdom of darkness cannot oppress my life without a battle. Today, many Israelites reject knowledge. They have little tolerance for the affairs of the Most High. Because many Israelites do not know how the Most High operate, they mistake the judgment from the Most High for racism, discrimination, and many other oppression in their life. Remember, Israelites, if you disobey the laws of the Most High, you are not protected by the Most High. Sin separates you from the Most High. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Many Israelites in this generation are not protected. The kingdom of darkness is having their way with them. Too many Israelites place their confidence in the religious system, which offer them no protection. For a lack of knowledge, the kingdom of darkness deceived them into accepting religion versus the Most High. Remember, the Elohim of Israel and the God of religion are not the same. Breaking the laws of Yah or sin is the sole purpose to your oppression. The kingdom of darkness has to get you to break the laws of the Most High. After breaking the laws of Yah, Satan gained the opportunity to oppress your life. Demonic dreams is the gateway the kingdom of darkness used to establish many covenants. Once the covenant is established, your life starts to fall apart. Satan will send the workers of iniquity to oppress your life in many ways, through white supremacy, police brutality, family feuds, economic oppression, and many other ways to keep you in bondage. The longer Satan keeps you oppressed, the longer the kingdom of darkness and the workers of iniquity rule. It is important that you comprehend, Israelites, the people who benefit from the beast system will not help you. Why would they come against a system that has been helping them prosper and dominate you? Overthrowing the beast system is the end of the times of the heathens. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. The images the mainstream media is pushing of heathens marching with you because they are for your cause is false. Behind the scenes, they continue to kill you. Nothing has changed. It is time that you wake up, black people, and stop believing the very people the kingdom of darkness use against you to help you. The media cannot serve the Most High and the kingdom of darkness. You cannot serve two masters. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon. That is why the garbage they spew in the media are never authentic. The root cause for your oppression is the same as it was from the beginning, sin. The kingdom of darkness want you to believe the root is racism and discrimination. That is false. Israelites, watch how fast your situation would change by obeying the Most High. Not the idol religion has given you, but the true Elohim of Israel. 
The oppression that stems from the Most High is not the same as the kingdom of darkness. Sin that has not graduated to iniquity brings forth discipline from the Most High. The Most High will allow the kingdom of darkness to oppress your life to correct you. The Most High know by allowing the kingdom of darkness to beat you up for a little while will cause you to repent. The scripture said the Most High chasten the ones he loved. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. What parent who love their children do not discipline them when they are in error? The religion system wants you to believe the Most High would never discipline his people. He would never allow oppression in your life. If the Most High do not discipline the ones he loved, you do not belong to him. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. The Most High will allow the kingdom of darkness to oppress you for as long as it takes to get you to repent. Yah wants to save your life. Sin that has not graduated to iniquity will cause the Most High to chasten you. Discipline is not joyful, but painful to bring forth the necessary changes. Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. There is a difference between sin and iniquity. When a person sin and repent, this allowed the Most High to discipline and save their life. Iniquity is when a person is unrepentant and continues to sin. Iniquity brings judgment. Israelites, you are in the land of your captivity because the Most High scattered you there. I know many do not want to believe the Most High would do this. The iniquity of our ancestors brought the judgment of the Most High. The judgment that was executed upon our ancestors caused this generation and many others to live in the land of their captivity. Iniquity gives the kingdom of darkness permission to oppress your life. Remember, the kingdom of darkness oppression manifests in the form of police brutality, discrimination, racism, and many other ways. That is why it is important not to assume every Israelite is innocent when the unfortunate takes place. Iniquity brings judgment, period. The judgment also comes in the form of curses. All the curses stated in Deuteronomy and other bloodline curses will overtake an unrepentant Israelite's life. Take your time to observe what is happening in the life of many Israelites in this generation. What do you believe is the cause to their downfall? It is not racism or discrimination. It is iniquity. Israelites will debate and refuse to accept the root cause is iniquity. Many of our people refuse to repent and many believe they are innocent. Remember, we all have sinned and fallen short of Yah's glory. Until Israelites can fully comprehend that they are not innocent, examine themselves to get to the root of the oppression, the judgment of Yah will follow Israelites everywhere they go. The kingdom of darkness will oppress them for the rest of their life. And I will scatter you among the heathen and will draw out a sword after you, and your land shall be desolate, and your cities waste. Once the Israelites return to serving the Most High in the spirit and in the truth, the change that we seek will come. No amount of marches and protests will erase our iniquities. We have to follow the commands the Most High put in place to deliver his people out of bondage. Many Israelites are marching and protesting to be a part of the heathen's satanic kingdom. The heathen's kingdom establishes itself through theft, slavery, killing, lies, jealousy, idolatry, and hatred. In addition, using the powers from the kingdom of darkness to maintain dominance. To those of you who are protesting and marching, you are fighting to be a part of a dying kingdom. Do not covet the heathen's kingdom. Establish your own. Separate from them. Once you separate and obey your Elohim, the oppression would stop. Now is the time to seek the face of the Most High for answers. Do not use this time to establish your own righteousness. Only the Most High could save us. The people of the Most High must humble themselves to begin to see change. We cannot allow history to repeat itself nor allow the heathens to control the narrative. Get to the root of your oppression. Once you find the root, destroy the root. Israelites, we cannot afford to keep going around in circles. 
We must take heed to the laws of the Most High, abide in them, and never depart from the laws. Israelites, you must seek the face of the Elohim of Israel if you want to live. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success.